Remember people that were this age, uh, 20 years ago, that were being denied insurance to work in movies and TV anymore. Yeah, but then you see people that are in their 90s still to, working. Today, in their 90s, they're working today because uh, the 90-year-old person today is different than the 80-year-old person was 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. 80 was like the cutoff. Now today, 90 years old, and you're basically... Is it one of them? They're, I think they're about... They're, they're booked till they're 95, or they are 90? Uh, no, uh, Christopher Lee is booked until... Mm -hmm. he, okay, he's doing three more Lord of the Rings. Right? This guy has got to be 100 years old before he gets the, the Hobbit movies done. They wrote him specifically in. This is a guy that's basically in Star Wars movies, you know, playing, basically doing backflips at 80, you know, because, you know, some of the stuff they had to do with him on camera because you couldn't, you know, he didn't look right if you're back, so he's actually in a harness going like that, and he's enjoying himself. I mean, because, okay, he actually looks a lot younger when he gets his beard off. Just look at some of the videos where he's singing with some people, yeah. and he's got his beard off, and he's very... You know, but um, he has no comprehension of what being old is. Um, let's see, uh, if you get up in the morning and you feel just exactly like you did the day before, you don't know that you're 80 years old. I mean, like I said, I've, I've been working since 1948. Most of the people in the industry weren't even born until the 60s. I mean, look at her. I mean, she just a little, you know, she, I've known her since she was a chick. Mm -hmm. She is, okay, we don't hide the fact that she's not a teenager, but when she was young, women, I mean, I, I mean, I told her, I mean, I've known her since she was a chick, like I said, I told her she would only get better as she got older. Of course, she laughed I, I laughed at him, I thought it was like a line. Because it's kind of like, okay, you're not that attractive right now, you look better in the No, future. but she was, she was, um, she was somewhat really skinny as a, as a teenager, I mean, Really? She had a nice figure. I was that skinny? She, she was not as very, she was not, I mean, it was just funny. She actually, the weight. It was a weight proportion because some of the measurements are were, the same. Yeah, and some of them are actually, actually most of them are better. Most of, right them, now. most of them are better. I mean, we put it this way. The, the factory, the original factory installed equipment is the same as it was when she was a chick, folks. No, a little bit better. A little bit better, but that's because we discovered if she doesn't wear bras and she wears swimsuit tops, it actually makes the top bigger. Mm -hmm. But um, but my waist is smaller. Yeah, and and it's funny too. She's not as athletic today as she was younger because she broke her neck. And mm -hmm. like we, we try to tell people, this is our you know when it comes to health reasons, our main concern is always her neck. I mean, she wants to do more. I mean, she actually... Yeah, because I want to do things like parachute jumping and things like yeah, that. I know. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> no, she would like to... Uh, I'm sending her a thing about fighting in a, flying in a fighter aircraft for her birthday. <gasps> so, we have to go to... We actually, we can do it out here in Chino. We can do it in Southern California. We can do it in Hawaii. I and mean, we can do it in Florida. If we go to Florida, then you can go to Disney at the same time. So, and... Um, but... The problem is, is I, I continue to worry about her snapping her neck, but it is, a, it's why, you know, it's harder for her to keep in shape than it is for most other people, and, and you know, we, we get amazed because we will go to, I mean, she's been in beauty pageants with yeah, much younger people. She's in a Playboy competition, for Christ's sake, folks, for their anniversary Playmate. She's been in the Fast and Furious Babe contest, and she's done well in all of them. And she's got original factory installed top. So, and we do well because uh, she is just, I mean, you have to understand too, if you look at some of the stuff that we've done, we have really got glamorous and party with some of our latest pictures, which the only place you can see them is the joint Facebook. It changed the bikinis on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Not, you know, it's not B I Kinis are, it's just the bikinis are fan club. And then, you know, you know, keep joining because those are where the special pictures are done, showing what she really does look like. And, you know, and uh, most of the pictures are not, you know, the last pictures have no, uh, we, you know, we did, one of the pictures basically, uh, we basically uh, played with it just to soften it up a bit. The latest pictures have nothing, nothing there. It's just her in the, you know, silhouetted against the ocean with the, lights bouncing off the ocean under a pier and um and they're basically you know you know we've got 
steaming hot, you know, God, God damn, you know. And she's basically, you know, really covered, not, not a small swimsuit either, it's just a normal swimsuit that you can wear at a beach in Southern California. So, and they're, they're hot, and like I said, we, we compete with her on a daily basis against kids. And she has to be able to compete, so therefore, health is a god-awful important thing with this. Mm -hmm. Because um, it, it's just not only she, you know, because she's not as bubbly when she's sick. I uh, know. Yeah. And that's the whole thing, a bubbly personality is what sets her off because she really gets wound up of doing interviews. She gets wound, we're the only people that basically concentrate on vendors at events. Because vendors are really big for us. I mean, you never know. Um, Some of those vendor videos get a lot more views than the people. I thought we've had, you know, like, uh, I was reading it, watching a thing yesterday, we had, we had like 12, some things like 12,000 views on a vendor video. Which one? I don't know. We got a whole page of things, which I never look at our videos. But when I go to the sites, it's, it will see viewing history, and I've never seen that video. Mm -hmm. But she has a tendency to look at videos because I'm, I'm actually told it says don't add to your don't add to your count. So and uh, she will make sense. They all, since they're on our pages, she's the one looking at them. So no, but sometimes I have to click on a thing so I can share it somewhere. Mm -hmm. But they're all over. I mean, I've got things. I got things on. on one, okay, she never adds to. One of the, the old cam, which is straight news sites, she never adds to it. I've got things that are based. I don't look at my videos. And so I've got history on them, which I shouldn't have. How is that? Because you looked at them. Oh. Yeah. But, um, like I said, in my case, old works well. But if I were, if, for instance, if I were, in, we're talking, I'm doing combat in 1959, our Bonanza, our Laramie, our the Virginian in the 60s, looking this way would not have been, it would not have been working. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm hot again. People, like they said, uh, we went to a sc Emmy screening thing and, uh, you know, uh, you know, I worked with your grandfather. I, I worked with him. And they, then I tell I am him. And he said, oh, crap. You know, the guy is basically, you know, he's still got a pompadour. I mean, the guy is my age, he's got a pompadour up here, which I know can't be real. All red, all pompadour. His wife, is, you know, looks but like... But they still recognize you after all these years. People recognize me. I don't know why. I think it's because of these things. You know, they stick out. What happens, like, you know, I, I, I have to whack off many inches of hair every week. She doesn't know. But um, the hair comes down over my ears, then I just don't look. But then what happens is I put my hat on, I move the hair back, and but um, I'm recognizable, which I shouldn't be. I thought I just recognize I'm the only bloody blonde-haired person in the credit industry. Maybe that's why. I mean, I, blonde stands out like a oh, That's why. Oh. You know, because, well, they're all short, little, dark-haired guys too. All of them are like about this on me. All of them. It's a blonde hair. It's a blonde hair. They recognize. Hey. Blondie with the big ears. And they used to make fun of me when I was, you know, uh, when Alf when Mad Magazine came out. You know, and you know, Alfred E. Newman. Alfred E. Newman. I mean, I I I, I would back, you know, the days with um, uh, with Michael Landon, whatever uh, uh, Eugene Yurovich or something. And basically, um, they you know, they they you tape gaffers taped to tape his ears back until finally he had surgery. My grandmother who was up my grandmother always wanted me to have my ears put back. I wouldn't. I said, if Clark Gable didn't have ears, his ears put out, yeah, I said, but look at Clark Gable, look at you. I, my grandmother was very insulting at a young age to me. <laughs> yeah, Clark, look at the king versus you. You know, his, he looks good with his ears out. You just look like you're the first generation out of a tree. So <laughs> that's what she told me. And I said, I saw that movie you were in. Are you sure you're not trying out for Bomb with a Jungle Boy's role? Yeah, and then, which was funny, I was. <laughs> yeah, but she, you know, right off the bat, but no, but her health is considerably more important mm -hmm. than my health. I have to work because of what I do. I have, I'm 24 7. Uh, so I have no choice because I, I am, you know, we're both, we are both members of Radio Television News Director Association, but I'm also, at the, I'm, if, if something screws up, it's my fault because I, 
you know, I will absolutely sometimes put out I should know better, and I didn't. I, I mean, I have let, you know, I, I, the day people freeze frame every bloody frame of a video looking for things. I will make certain that things are cut off before that happens, but sometimes things slip through and they'll sit there and they'll find it. You know, hey, you said the F word. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but uh, I also cut it out, but they'll see that. You know, that the word is, you know, the word is cut out, but then, and they know what you're saying when you go, you know, <laughs> or sometimes she'll have a costume. Um, I know, and part of it is they do check them that closely. Hmm. Well, I'll, I'll watch to the frame, and so when they find something, it's amazing. But um, like I said, it, it is a health issue with her continually. Right now, we, we still got, you know, we have our, we did these drops. So these are the honey drops. Which basically gotten, they've done it's it. It's okay. We, what happens is they're, they're, they're starting to get warm. So you're going to have to Oh, yeah, because we were right here by the But uh, we're doing, she's actually going out with a wrap. When we go to the beach, she's wrapping her throat now, which she never did before because it's, it has been very serious. We cannot have, um, um, I can talk, like my, my, okay, this is what my grandmother said. He doesn't need a script because he can BS for